Hi guys, it's Lizelle, and I'm going to do a tutorial on one of my bow bracelets. So first we're going to take one band, wrap it around my hook four times. Then we're going to take double bands, so two bands. And we are going to slip it on. We're going to hook it with the hook. Then we're going to slide the looped band over onto the two hooks two bands and this is sometimes a little difficult and it takes a little bit of practice but once you get the concept it's pretty easy so we're gonna keep pushing them over until we get all four onto the loop and then we're just gonna put that this one it should look like this put it to the side because we're gonna need it later for the bracelet so we're gonna repeat this process four times for each color so that we have four bows in three colors in total. So that is 12 bows that you have in total in the end that we're gonna use in our bracelet. So now, I'm gonna take my loom. As you can see, here's my loom. I'm gonna have it in this configuration so it's not, they're going to be a little, they're not, they're going to make little hexagon shapes around the sides. So if you go, look at the top where your arrow, your arrow will be facing to the left if you hold it the way I am and you can see the little hexagon shape right here so this is the configuration you want your loom to this is how your loom should look like so then I'm going to take my color that I want the outside to be which is going to be a white or a gray or a black or whatever choice whatever you choose I'm going to use a white today and I'm going to take the white with my arrow facing down, as you can see. I'm going to go and do this, and to this side, and then just go down my loom like this. And we dance all night. until you reach the second peg to the bottom and then from there instead of going down I'm going to go diagonal to the middle peg then you can see my completed line from here all the way down and then we'll do the same thing on the other side okay so now that we have the, the first side completed I'm going to take more white bands on my and lift my loom and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, which I'll probably end up speeding up for you guys. Until the second from until the second from the bottom peg, again, where I'm going to go instead of to instead of down, I'm going to go to the middle, to the diagonally to the middle peg. And now you can see our completed loom, our completed outside. It looks like this. It's going to go down like that. And now we need to put our bows on. So my, I'm going to do a pattern in mine. So I'm going to take my jelly blue or turquoise and put that one on first. And it's going to, and they're going to go on every peg down the loom. And I'm going to do it in a pattern. So first, put the tur turquoise jelly one on, and then put the normal turquoise on. And then, I'm going to put on my navy blue. Then, repeat the pattern all the way down the loom. So that is how you're going to set up your loom for this. So then, we're going to start at the end. So the end where you can see you end it on that middle peg. And we're going to take another white, our last band that we need, a white. Wrap it around our finger twice. Put it on that little bottom peg. And twist it around once, once more so it's three or four just to be safe. And this will be our capping band for this tutorial. So then, once your capping band is on the loom, I'm going to pull all the capping band bands away from the rest. 
and we're going to take the next top one under the capping band once I get it and then pull it under and through the rest of the band and bring it to the side where it came from. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side and put it there so then you can see it's on top of the first loop of your bow. So then you're going to go under all the bow loops, grab the very bottom band, pull it over it to the next peg, and we're going to continue doing that up the loom all the way to the top on both sides. all the way until you get to the top as you can see right here then we're going to take the bottom band from this peg and move it to this one so the same thing as you did on the sides but going diagonally just for the end and now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side Better than words, but more than a feeling. Crazy in love, dancing on the scene. And then we're going to take the last corner, like you did on the other side, and move it over here diagonally. So there you can see that's the end of our bracelet. Okay guys, so the first time I did my middle looping party was a little unclear as to how to do it, so I just added a couple more, and I'll do a mini for you to show you how to do it if you don't know. So I'm just going to grab my capping man, twist around my finger twice. Okay, so I put my capping band on. I twisted it a couple of times. So I recommend doing it four times, but if you have having some trouble putting it on four times, put it on three times. Then I'll just show you how to do the looping process because it was a little unclear. So first I'm gonna go under the cap band here. As you can see, I'm pulling all the cap band away, picking up the next elastic and pulling it to the side where it came from. So then I'm going to do it again, except going to the other side, pulling it to the side, and putting it where it came from. And then I'm going to go under all these bands and grab the very bottom and pull it over to the next one. And then repeat all the way to the top of your loom. And then when we get to this part, we're going to go diagonally from this peg to this peg. So we're going to take, put your hook under, grab the very last band, put it over onto the tip. And last, then, we're going to find the end. So where you just finished looping, you're going to stick your hook through that hole, grab a loop, a band with your hook pull it up and through the peg so you can see there then put both the loops from that same band onto your peg and then going to start pulling off your bracelet be careful while doing this so you don't snap any of your bands If you want your bracelet to be a little sturdier, you can use double bands on the sides instead of only using one. But then I recommend using a metal hook instead of using the plastic one because the plastic ones break a lot easier with the extra tension. So then you can see here is our bow bracelet, which looks a lot like a ladder if you're thinking of it technically. And then, as you can see, we have it hooked onto our hook. We're going to take a C-clip and attach it onto these two loops. So that we're going to pull it, pull down like this, take your C-clip under the two loops like that, you can see, and get those two bands to stick in the middle. 
Then, once you have your C-clip attached, you can take it off of your hook, and you can see there the C-clip is attached to the bracelet. So now, what we'll have to do is make an extension. So, to make an extension, it's, on, it's literally just a single, a single bracelet. So, at the end, we're going to take the loops from our capping band. So, if you, tw if you twisted it four times, you need four loops on your hook. If you twisted it three times, you only need three. Then we're going to almost do the same thing as we did put, making the bows. So we're going to go like this, take the loop, take your one, one band, slide all four of these loops onto that one band, as you can see, and then attach it onto your hook. So then we're going to repeat that. So we're going to take our hook. As you can see, it has two white bands on it which is the same band. I'm going to hook another hook onto that and pull it over. See, mine just came undone, so you can just grab the two loops really quickly, put it on your hook again, and pull it over. These are easy to do because they're super loose. And then you're going to keep going, making your extension for your bracelet. So you're going to take another Loop your, take your two loops, get them over again, as you can see, and now we have another one attached. I'm going to take the next one, loop it over, and continue until your extension is long enough. Okay, so now that we've done our extension, you can see I've added my extension onto my bracelet, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little bands making a single chain. I'm going to take the other side of my bracelet, find the C-clip, and attach the last two bands onto my C-clip. So once more, going to take the two loops, add them onto the middle of the C-clip, and just pull them in. So now you have completed your bow bracelet, my original design. So there's the brace, the front, and you can see the extension in the back. Thank <laughs> you.